Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my Streets of Rage full game walkthrough. This is part three, so if you haven't already, have a look at the channel playlist and you'll see under the gameplay ones, part one and part two, you'll also find each and every upload from this series in that same playlist. If you haven't already and you like this kind of content, plus game hunts, news and views, Please take the time to consider subscribing. It's much appreciated by the channel and you helping us out massively. Anyway, let's get on with part three of Streets of Rage 4. Oops, I didn't want to do that. That is a violation. Straight down that hole. We are only four levels into this game really and I must say I'm really enjoying playing through it again. It is a game that I haven't played through enough if I'm totally honest and uh, I need to play through it with more character. Those female characters are kind of the rip-off of Poison from Final Fight. Their fly kicks are so awkward and really annoying. They're quite difficult to get out of the way of once they've actually launched it. I've said many times, these kind of beat em up have always got that one annoying character. Um, this one has got maybe three or four of those annoying types. That's no bad thing. It gives you a little bit more of a challenge. Now, I really like the Estelle character. She's a solid boss character and she's playable as well once you... I uh, can't remember if you have to buy the DLC or whether she's unlockable. But yeah, she's good to use as well. Yes, please. That turkey was much needed.
I do love the way Estelle just tells him to uh, politely leave there. Now this is one of the things that really sold me with the graphics in this. As I said in one of my previous videos, the art style upon first glance really didn't sell to me. Um, but looking at this level, it's got a really grimy, dark background, but look how that green just pops. I think since this game was released, um, I'm no longer viewing the beat em up genre by just watching, uh, sorry, not watching, viewing screenshots. I learnt my lesson there, I was totally wrong with this one, and I don't think I'll be doing it again. I'm going to give every game a chance in this uh, genre. It's got its resurgence, there's tons of games coming out, some better than others. But it's definitely a genre that's on the rise once again. Um, it might have peaked, who knows. But we've definitely got some great titles that have been added to the genre over the last few years. These giant Rolo guys, they're, uh, they're a liberty. Probably the most annoying character, I'd say, them guys. And it's that ridiculously smug laugh they do once they've actually hit you a few times. No need for it.
Now these biker chicks as well, they are a problem if you don't handle them as quick as possible. Once they do that darting in move where they just come for you, um, it's very difficult to get out of the way of. And they also do some kind of pile driver as well on you, which is a bit of an uh, embarrassing move to take. It's one of them ones that sort of rubs it in. There we've got a nice little cameo from Rudy, for those that remember. Yeah, he's all right, just checking in on him. Right, boss time. And what would happen if you created Jean-Claude Van Damme and Hagar from Final Fight, mix them together? You're going to get this guy. Well, that was sneaky. He was playing possum. And that is Jean-Claude Van Hagar dealt with. Let's move on. Right, that was part three of the Streets of Rage 4 playthrough. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I'll be uploading part four tomorrow and hopefully part five and six, etc. each day onwards. 
Once again, thanks for watching. Take the time to subscribe if you happen to like the channel. It'd be much appreciated. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care for now.